A lot of people think discipline is something you do to children as opposed to something you develop within children. So if you can imagine how wonderful it would be if we all set a goal and we all could achieve that goal and despite distractions, despite obstacles, we still step forward. Or if we have emotional ups and downs or frustrations, we still head for our goal. Whether that goal is learning to read, tying your shoe, staying on the cot at nap time, or losing 20 pounds. It's all the same process. So in conscious discipline, we have to help adults first because when life doesn't go our way, we tend to fall down into the lower centers of our brain and instead of achieve that goal, we start blaming others, justifying why we couldn't feel victimized. So we wanna go from these lower centers of our brain up to the higher centers so we can respond to events instead of react. Once we learn how to do it, we teach it to children. And once the children can do it, instead of being hit and hit back, they get hit and go, I don't like it when you hit me. Please say my name if you want my attention. So it's a beautiful thing, and it's a, it, I think it's something we all want, our children to be goal-directed and be able to achieve those goals. I am so excited that Conscious Discipline is integrated into the Frog Street Press Pre-K program. It's a dynamic interaction of academics and social-emotional never before done. In Conscious Discipline, it's important to have an optimal state for learning. We want our children to learn as much as possible every minute. So these transitions they do from home to school is a huge transition. It's a hard transition from kids to go from child, adored child, to student, so to speak, or for a teacher to go from parent or just a single person to teacher. Those are huge transitions. So what we do with the Frog Street Pre-K and Conscious Discipline Blend, we start each day in a way so that we can maximize that day. After disengaging the stress, we want an activity to connect. And connection builds cooperation and wires their little brain for impulse control for the rest of the day. And the last one is to make a commitment. A commitment says, I'm going to drive my brain from the inside. I want to be goal-directed instead of stimulus-oriented. To make a commitment, which is a promise to my school family, that I can live up to my word, and they need practice at doing that. So each day they'll make a commitment. We might make a commitment to have listening ears. We might have a commitment to walk with our hands by our side some days. We might make a commitment to use gentle hands. So when we touch someone, it's in a nice, soft way. And we work on these and we make this promise to our school family. And then at the end of the day, you can reflect, how did I do? Oops, or I did it. And we learn to start that reflective part of thinking and learning that's so valuable in education.